This is the free motion quilting tutorial for black hole matrix. This design starts in the center of your quilting space with a wiggly line. You're going to stitch a wiggly line back and forth from the center to the edges. And if you'll remember back to the first part of the free motion quilting project, this is actually a design called Wobbly Cosmos. So if you want to refer back to that design, that will might help you form this design. So you're just going to get started wiggling back and forth and it's a very, very easy design. All of the matrix designs are generally very easy beginner level designs and they all involve uh, simple lines coming together to create grids and these unique grids usually stitch on your quilt in a very easy way. So I'm going to start with this kind of foundation and just simply stitching from the center to the edges and this is going to be a design that works best in an open area in an open space. You wouldn't want to try and squish this in a tight or complex area. It just wouldn't look right and it would really honestly this design would look really good if it was stitched in a big block or if you had a baby quilt that you wanted to quilt this could easily go over the entire quilt uh, just simply starting in the center radiating out and expanding all those lines until they cover the entire surface of the quilt of course if you're gonna stitch something that's intended for a bed or intended to cuddle and sleep with, you want to make sure that you keep the lines of quilting spaced apart so that way it's nice and comfortable and soft to sleep with. I'm stitching this very dense simply because it saves time and it saves fabric demonstrating the design on video. Uh, it's also a lot easier to show you on a small scale rather than fighting with the big quilt under my needle. So that's why I'm stitching it on such a tiny scale, but you could easily expand this and make this much bigger and have two to three inches between all of those wiggly lines. So if you imagine two to three inches between those wiggly lines, it's going to take up a lot of space and it's going to allow your quilt to be very soft and cuddly. Now the one hard thing about this design is simply putting it all together so that it matches up evenly and you can see that I've just kind of fast forwarded on ahead past that but if you want to catch that area of kind of matching up those wiggly wobbly lines definitely check out the design called Wobbly Cosmos. So really the last step of black hole matrix is to create the final grid design and what creates the black hole effect is this wiggly wobbly shape that you start from the center radiating out and you can see I chose to do kind of almost a flower shape but I really think that a spiral uh, just a circular spiral would look really nice another interesting thing to try would be to do a square spiral because that would contrast interestingly with the wiggly lines that you stitched in the first part of the design as you can see the spiral is a lot faster and quicker to stitch than the starting lines. It takes up a lot more space a lot more quickly simply because you're working in a ring rather than working back and forth. So this design is going to come together very quickly to cover your quilt and it's an excellent beginner level design for anyone to get started with. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Black Hole Matrix. For over 350 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine, check out the Free Motion Quilting Project at freemotionproject.com.